Hello. Hello. Now, is everybody that's coming in so far a Tuesday person? I guess you can you can type in the chat. Okay, I'm just confirming that I only needed Tuesday people today. Um, sorry, I had been waiting for a call from the oral surgeon's office all day, and they literally just called, so I'm... I'm sorry. Okay, everybody's getting in. I'll let everybody get in here one second, then I'll explain what's going on. Um, I love you, Iris. I'm never going to stop telling you that that frequently, by the way. So get used to it. OK. Um, so I think we're getting everybody in here. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so I first off have to apologize to you guys. I started to record the video last night and about a quarter of the way through, my internet had gone down and I couldn't even email you guys to be like, hey, I tried to post it to Facebook. I don't know if it ever posted to your group because on my computer, the little wheel was still going. Um, but at school, I could not access the video. I could access email. It's been two days of between my impacted tooth and my technology. I'm trying to hold it together. So what I plan on doing, just so you know, um, my plan was to send out the video last night. Now I realize that's a short turnaround time for you guys to watch it. You are, I need, each group is gonna meet with me and that will be your attendance for the day. So you logging in, this could take up to half an hour to an hour. Um, I'm just gonna kind of summarize what the video is gonna be about and answer any questions. But if you guys don't watch it till tonight and you wanna bop into a Wednesday or a Thursday time, or hold your questions till Friday, you can do that. I am probably gonna post a quest, a few questions. You're, there's gonna be a homework sheet and a PowerPoint that I'm gonna send now that my internet's working. Um, but I'm gonna post about two or three questions from the video, but you have until Friday um, at noon or one o'clock to answer those. So that should give you time to watch the video you might want to watch it in chunks, and then you would answer those questions before our class, and they're going to be questions like you have to watch the video um, to probably answer the questions. So does anybody have any questions about that part so far? Um, so the plan will be, as of right now, um the homework sheet it'll go out to everybody as soon as we're done and it would be due on friday so we could review um your haley your attendance is you checking into the zoom today so i'll write down everybody that's here you get attendance um 
there will be a Friday answer a question from the lecture. So you have from, well, I have to record the rest of it. I just got home a little bit ago from school. It took me longer than I thought because it's day one. Um, so I'm gonna record the rest. I'll send you the first part, the PowerPoint, the homework sheet. I'm gonna record the rest of the video, send it to you. But so you have from now and probably until Friday morning to watch the lecture. If you have questions, because I did not get the lecture to you guys in time to ask me questions live today, you can bop in. Every day, I'm just gonna send a Zoom email. It's too hard to, to section you guys out. So it'll say Tuesday Zoom, Wednesday Zoom, Thursday Zoom. But say you Thursday wanna come on to my Zoom at 2.30 and ask a few questions, you can do that. I realize you have farm and other classes and you can always email me and I'm always willing to take a FaceTime or a phone call one-on-one -on -one if that helps. So between, that should give you some flexibility to watch the lecture, jot down any questions you have. Then on Friday, the homework would be due. We would discuss it and then um, I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna do the test. I have to think about that. But at least that answers, hopefully that clears up. And the reason I did 2.30, I mean, it gives you some time. Um, I'm kind of glad I did it this way today because it was hard being in the day one. Um, Kayla, for right now, I could change that. But right now, it'll probably be either 2 o'clock or 2.30 that I will meet because I end at school at 12, so 12.35 would have been difficult for me to come on. So I was thinking somewhere between one and two, but a lot of students had questions today and were confused, so it was difficult. So that's why I picked 2.30, but it'll probably be two or 2.30. I'll always email you um, and then I'm just going to summarize what the lecture is going to be about, and then you can watch it. So the two things you'll have to do, the homework sheet will be due Friday, and by Friday at uh, maybe 12, um, I will. you have to answer a couple questions about the lecture, and that'll go through teacheries like an assignment, kind of similar, I think, to what Niemer did, where it was like, you know, answer me this, answer me this, but you have until Friday to do that. So that gives you, that, that way you can break up the lecture if you don't want to listen to three hours at once. Yes, your homework sheet, like I said, as soon as we get done, I'm going to send you the homework sheet and the PowerPoint over chapter nine. And that's the sheet it's like in a study guide format with questions. <clears throat> Does anybody have any concerns or questions? I'm, um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Haley, I'm gonna try it this week and I may do that. Um, the whole reason I wanted to have a Zoom today, I just, I hate not being live with you guys. I know that some people have done voice PowerPoints. I just got so used to being live that I wanted to have a time for anybody. Yes, yeah, so no, I appreciate that, Haley. I think I might try this for this week and we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, this, I've never taught the class this way. It's always been five days a week for an hour. So, this is a little difficult so i may have to look into that but i want to be accessible to you guys so i want to make sure that i'm available and i don't want to gloss it over um are there any questions on how i have it set up okay let me just give you a quick overview of what it's going to be now 
I explained some of this in the video. Let me do my screen. My voice is starting to give out too for some talked a lot today. Um, so I always feel like I'm complaining. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's going to be over canine and feline. Now the nice thing is with this lecture, we've talked about patient prep, protocol, how to minimize side effects. Um, but what it starts to do is explain the different inductions. So if you want to have an animal go to sleep for a spay, you can give something IM, you can give something IV, you can give something, you can do all IV anesthesia and no gas, you can do, TIVA stands for total intravenous anesthesia. So when you see TIVA, you know that animal is only getting injectable drugs, no inhalant, usually no oxygen. So all of the drug is being given intravenously. And let me explain what that means. If I have a dog, I can sit there and push some propofol and wait. And that is TIVA by itself. Or I can put propofol in a bag and drip it like an IV bag, and that's called TIVA by CRI, because you're giving it continuously. So for example, I can anesthetize, anesthetize a dog with just propofol, and that's the only drug I use. I don't use a tube, I don't use gas. Now, the most common way is to give induction IV, and then you tube them, and you put them on inhalant. So this slide 14 is the most common way that we give anesthesia. But an IM, if I go back, if I do an IM induction, this would be kitty magic. So slide number five, an example would be the kitty magic protocol. Okay. And that is all the induction is given in the muscle. When they go to sleep, you can either like now kitty magic, you can do a neuter on kitty magic. Or you can intubate them on kitty magic and then you can keep them on an inhalant as they start to wake up. TIVA is total intravenous anesthesia. So it's anesthesia that's all done by injection. No tube, no gas. Okay, total intravenous. Um, so I just wanted you to be familiar. In your chapter nine, they go through some protocols. But if it's an IM induction, you give it in the muscle. So in the lecture, but like I said, I've seen fast doctors do a spay on kitty magic. Now you guys, because it's a teaching institution, it's slower. So you're usually gonna intubate them and put them on gas. Uh, but a cat neuter, pull a tooth, uh, trim some bad nails, that could potentially be done I am. So you're gonna see these graphs and I explain in the video what the graph means. But let me give you Okay, here is you Well, okay, this is induction. Slide 14 is actually induction with a mask. So if they're awake and you put them on a mask and they start breathing the gas, they're going to slowly start to go to sleep, okay? Then you turn them down cuz you're like, okay, they're right here, then they start waking up, you turn them up, they start going deep again, you turn them down, end of the procedure, they wake up. So what this graph is showing you is what I said day one. You have alive and you have dead. We live here, okay? We don't want them waking up, we don't want them dying. So you're gonna hover in this pinkish area. Tan is awake. Purple is too deep. 
So we want to be in the middle. Let me show you. Here is like propofol induction. So they're awake. You give a shot of propofol. They're asleep. You intubate them. You turn them on gas. Propofol starts to wear off. They're starting to get light. You turn up the gas. Then you maybe turned it up too much. They're getting deep again. All of a sudden you turn them down and then the doctor says we're done and they wake up. And at the bottom, it gives you minutes. So you see, once you give propofol, they go to sleep right away. Since I have you guys here, let me show you something. When you give a drug IM, do you see peak effect is at the 20, 25 minute mark? Remember I said IM takes longer to kick in but it lasts longer. So once it starts wearing off, they wake up. So that's how I want you to look at these graphs. They're describing the difference in time and how we keep them. So <clears throat> now part of what it's going to talk about is getting all your stuff ready, doing your pre-meds, your sedations. This is kind of like following what you do in a day. Like I walk in, I see my patient, I get my assessment, I get my blood work, choose a protocol, I give them a pre-med, I put them in a cage. I like 30 minutes, so then I start setting up my fluids, I start setting up my monitor, get my tubes, all while the patient, I call it cooking. It's like the turkey's in the oven. While the, while the patient is relaxing, you have time to get stuff done. Okay. Induction talks about I am induction, the IV drugs, which we've already talked about. Okay. To effect. Talks about how to mask induce, box induce, the cautions. So I've already kind of talked about some of this. I am induction. And then it's going to go through intubation. In our equipment, I talked about just the tubes themselves, the materials, what are the parts of a tube. This is the procedure. So I also have another, I have an extra PowerPoint that has some better pictures that I'm probably gonna send you at some point and it'll help with intubation. But talks about the benefits, okay? You gotta remember your anatomy. So you've got, you open the mouth, pull out the tongue. Remember, the esophagus is dorsal, the trachea is ventral. E comes before T. So when you go in to intubate, the most critical is going to be sometimes you can't see well. There's times I would have bet a million dollars I was in the, in the trachea and I was in the esophagus. So one of the most important things of this lecture, well, there's the intubation procedure how to tie it in is slide 43. This is one of my favorite things to ask. How do I know I'm in the trachea? Now, visual looking at it, you're like, it's in there. Okay. But if you cannot see, which on a lot of patients you cannot, these go through the checklist. How do I verify? So slide 43 is very important. Then tying it in, how to check for leaks, preventing laryngospasm in cats because cats, okay? But there are complications to intubation. It is not a benign procedure, meaning it's not without risk. So what are all the bad things that can happen with intubate? Now, things get intubated. It's a very safe thing to do. What I'm saying is slide 47 is important for what are the risks, okay? You know, I like to ask list questions. Tell me three reasons intubation is complicated or what are complications of intubation? 
So you should be able to tell me. If I, if I said you had an extern under you and they said, Haley, how do I know the tube is in? What are you gonna tell her? You're gonna tell her one of these things, okay? So slide 47 is important. And then I'll talk about maintenance. How do we keep them asleep? How do we position them? Because now I will tell you, positioning a dog or a cat is different than a horse. Horse positioning is very critical for myopathies and nerve damage. In a dog and a cat, we wanna keep them comfortable. So there are some tips I will give you. So once they're asleep, you wanna get them in the proper position. Okay, heating pad. And then I will talk a little bit about recovery. Okay, how do we wake them up? What is your role in recovery? Because you have to make sure the patient is going in the right direction. We should be gaining consciousness. If they're losing consciousness, they're going the wrong way. So, turning the patients, checking mentation, analgesia. How do we know recovery is going well? Okay. Now, one thing that I will add to this is I will add some stuff about equipment. The first video that you'll get will be all of this. I'm going to talk about this, the parts of the machine that I didn't get to talk about. So I will probably add this, but I'm concerned about the size of compressing this video. So they may come in chunks. I'm just letting you know. But that's why I'm gonna let Friday, you have Friday to watch all of this. Are there any questions about anything I just said? And everybody said here on the chat. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you the PowerPoint and the homework. Um, I'm going to record the video and I will send that out in a bit because it's going to take me a little bit to get it recorded. And then just make sure homework due Friday and make sure you log in and answer the question by Friday. So I apologize that I didn't get it to you, but you can yell at Comcast for me, please. Um, I don't know. I tried to even use a hotspot on my husband's phone and that was not working. So. Okay, so chapter nine, um, some of it is review because we've already done like patient prep and blood work. Um, so some of that is going to be review, but it's part of this. Remember, dat minimum database, doing your lab work. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, I will go ahead and also convert this and send this out. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry that I'm coming back, having a cat die, impacted wisdom tooth, and computer crashing. I think I've about hit my max. So I'm going to get everything organized and thank you for being understanding and I will try to get this video to you okay all right um you guys have a great day take care thank you Advil helps Advil and ice so uh Kayla homework will be due Friday at the time of class 
and then answer the question on Teacherese by Friday at noon. Okay, so you have from now to watch the video to answer those questions. So you do have some time. You, like I said, you might want to watch it an hour stop, an hour stop, an hour stop. Or watch it all at once and pause it and take notes. And don't forget, if you guys feel like you need a question answered, feel free to pop in to Wednesday at 2.30 or Thursday at 2.30. I will email out the link every day because right now I don't have you guys separated in groups. So it'll just be a mass email. But it'll say Tuesday Zoom, Wednesday Zoom, Thursday Zoom. But if you click on it, you can join the class and just say, hey, I'm a Tuesday, I'm here. That's fine. Okay? All right. Well, if there's no other questions, I'll hang around here a minute. I'm just going to pause recording, but I will see you guys on Friday. But the email will be coming shortly.